today would have actually been a math test. So, um, there's, there's only one thing for you to do and I'm going to do it with you. So what I want you to do is find the paper that says 110A. It has this big box on it. We're going to do this together. I'm going to fold mine so it fits right up here on my little whiteboard. So I'm going to give you a minute to find 110A and then we're going to get started. All right, so you should have your pencil. I'm gonna use a marker so you can see. It says, <clears throat> Mrs. Smith has 12 pencils. Each child will get two pencils. Show how many children will get pencils. Okay, so when we do a word problem like this, remember we have to start with the first thing that they told us. And we need to make sure that we do that in our workspace. So it says, Mrs. Smith, has 12 pencils. So the first thing we need to do is draw 12 pencils. Now, drawing a pencil is really, really tricky. So instead of actually drawing, trying to draw a pencil, I'm just gonna write up P because P pencil starts with P and we all know how to make a P. So what I want you to do is make 12. Now, this is little small, so we could do six and six because six plus six makes 12. So I'm gonna make six P's on top and six P's right under. So if you wanna watch me, you can. If you wanna do it with me, you can, up to you. So here we go, 12. Six on the top, six on the bottom, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Six plus six makes twelve. So I have six on the top and six right under. All right, it says Mrs. Smith has twelve pencils. We did that, so we say check. And then it says each child will get two. Okay. So if each child gets two pencils, what should we do to show that two pencils will go with one child? How do we show that? Well, my dears, it's just like when we show pairs. So what we're gonna do is every time we see two pencils, we're gonna put a circle around that because one child will get those two in that circle. So every time we see two, we're gonna put a circle around it. Okay, so here we go. So one child gets these two pencils. Okay, now I'm gonna see these next two pencils. I need to circle those, because those go to a different child. Just like each of you had two pencils in your pencil boxes at school, that's what's happening here. So now the next two pencils go to a different child. Okay, now we're gonna go down here. These two pencils go to another child. And these two pencils will go to a child. And these two pencils will go to a child. So then it says, down here at the bottom, how many children will get pencils? Well, if each one gets two, we just count our circles. So here's one child. Here's two children. Three children. Four children five children and six children. So how many children will get pencils? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we need to write a six down here at the bottom because if there are 12 pencils and everybody gets two, that means six children will get two pencils. Awesome. Now my sweets, what I want you to do is I want you to take your paper and turn it over to the back side and you'll see 110B. So we're gonna do the back. I'm gonna fold mine down, see if words doesn't fit on there. So I'm gonna fold mine. All right. I'm gonna take this up here. And there we go. Awesome. All right. 
Here you go, this is the last thing and then you're done with math. How awesome. It says, Mrs. Caballero has 20 pennies. Whoa. Each child will get five pennies. That's nice of her. Show how many children will get pennies. Okay, so she has 20 pennies to share and every child will get five. So the first thing you need to do is draw those 20 pennies. So I know that I can make circles really little. So 20. Oh, we can just count by tens. So if I do 10 pennies in one line and 10 pennies in the next line, that would be 10, 20. Okay, I'm gonna put 10 pennies on the top, 10 on the bottom. You ready? Here we go. We're gonna count starting at one all the way to 20. When you get to 10, then we're gonna go down to the next line. Here we go, ready, set, go. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to go down to the next line. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20. Awesome, because we know from our doubles wrap, 10 plus 10 equals 20. That's plenty. So Mrs. Caballero has 20 pennies. We got that. Check. Then it says each child will get five pennies. Whew, how are we going to do that? This is really hard. How are we going to know... How many children get pennies? Hmm. Well, on the other side, you know, we, we circled in the pairs. Do you think we could do circles again? So if it says that every child gets five pennies, we're going to put a circle around how many pennies? Five. So here, watch what I do, and then we'll do it together. So just watch me right now. One, two, three, four. Five. So then I'm going to put my pencil here and circle those five. I'm going to do it with you though. Okay, ready? Count. Start over here. We're going to find five. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Keep your finger on that penny and you're going to make a circle going back over those pennies you just counted and around to your finger and underneath. There. So there's one child. So let's write a one on top because... So one child gets those five pennies. Now we need to count another five, right? Okay, so let's count the next five. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna put my pencil here, circle back. Those ones I just counted. Okay. So now what number are we gonna write up there? We had child number one, now this is child number we already two. Okay, so we have two children so far. Okay, now we gotta start down here. Those ones are all used up. Now we gotta find five again. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I'm gonna put my pencil right behind that one and circle around. Okay, so now this would be child number Child number one, child number two. Now I don't have room to write it on top, so I'm just gonna write it on the bottom. That's okay, I'm gonna write a three. So right now three children have pennies. All right, now let's do the last one. Count with me, ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five. Now these five need to go into a circle. Awesome, so child number one, child number two, child number three, child number four. You got it. So now the last thing is down here it says, how many children will get pennies? Well, you know, how many circles? One child, two children, three children, four children get pennies. So we need to write a four down here on this little line. 
and you know what to do with this box. All right, my dears, that was it. We made how many objects there were, pencils or pennies, and then we circled the ones that would go with each child, and then we figured out how many children would get pencils or pennies. Say, piece of cake. You did great. I hope you are doing well and you're having fun at home. And if you have any questions, have your mommy call me or text me. I love you and I miss you. Be good listeners.